We're back. All right, so here we go. You want to pull it, Chuck? <laughs> yeah, pull it, Chuck. You get to pull it. All right. Okay, I got it. Got it. Winner. And the winner of Grimey's lame ass, thank God we're getting it out of the way now, shot glass is... Dirty Birdie. Oh, Dirty. shit. Dirty! Dirty Birdie. Dirty Birdie. Congratulations, partner. Dirty Birdie in Yuma. Yeah, shouts out to Yuma. That'll be on the way, so... Bam. This fool about to drink out your fucking shot. I told you. <laughs> it's not this one. <laughs> oh, Told I'm you. gonna send him a dirty new one. crack and chip. I told you. Send him that one. That's, that's what I'm saying. Send him that yeah, one. Dude, he might. That's, that's he a fucking. That's a good story. That shit and send it over. Dude. Yeah, we'll all sign it and shit. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> yeah. That's right. His lips will be on it. It'll be yeah. fucking great. Yeah, love it's, it. It'll be good stuff. Some bacteria from grimy. So yeah, to the uh, Jack Daniels 2012 Arizona Hip Hop Grimy Republic yes. one year anniversary. Shots to you. Let's go. Sure. And all of you. All right. Next hey, up. Brother. Sorry. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Mm. Well, that was fucking delicious. Right? <laughs> Dirty Birdie was the uh, was the winner there. So, now don't none of you motherfuckers that was just around for the shot glass tune out now and turn this shit off. <laughs> right? Because I know some of you motherfuckers will probably try to do that shit. Don't do that. So That shot glass is like 50 bucks. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, that was expensive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit. Now what? You want to play what? a track or you want to talk no, about... No, no, let's talk a little bit. Um, so we can kind of get through some stuff, man. We got a lot to talk about. We're doing a lot That's of things true. in 2012, man. Already, um, already. February 3rd, Bars Attack 2.0, the first video for Bars Attack 1.0 came out. WWW dot youtube.com backslash voice box battles chuck clark versus mc clockwork took place in phoenix uh got our phoenix event also uh coming up like i said february 3rd uh floyd wright our phoenix general manager put together a super dope card um it's going to be pretty much a tucson and phoenix tucson versus phoenix event uh this time up there so tucson cats we need to go on a little road trip and hold it the fuck down. Get some bodies. Yeah, man, for Mr. real. Mr. Dave, I know you got White Widow. I don't even need to worry about Dave, that. Dave, I swear Seriously. to God, dude. <laughs> I'm Dave. coming to watch. I'm coming I'm coming to support. I'm yeah. telling you, man, if you can get I'll up to Phoenix, there. man, it, it's a February 3rd. It's a weekend. It's a Stray there. Cats right off University. I'm now battling. You, Chuck is battling. That's going to be... Who are you battling? Anthony, Anthony Analog. Analog. Yeah. Analog. That's right, analog. <laughs> Anthony analog, he says. That's what's up. Yeah, man. If you can make it out and go up to Phoenix, man, it's going to be a super dope time. Come out and support your Tucson there's a fan. Lot, yeah, there's a lot of Tucson heads to support on that bill. So. It's 21 and up, though. So don't drive all the way up there and think fucking you're going to get in or on, on some shit if you're underage. So yeah, it's 21 work. and up. <clears throat> doesn't work. Cool. Oh, yeah. Moving on. That's what's next. Um, Reno. We're taking a bunch of dudes out to Reno. Reno. Speaking of road trips, yeah. Yeah, Greg Sachs is battling. We're going to... I am. I'm battling Ace High. Yeah. 775 battles. One of their, one of their better dudes. The headline battle. Uh, so it'll... De- <laughs> because of me. Oh. <laughs> fucking talentless hack. Oh, that's what's because up, Because of dude. me. That's why it's the fucking headline. You said this dude has a lot of dick writers, right? Yo, hey. <laughs> God, Exclusive. Uh, yeah, hey, look. I mean, I, I just know I'm going to be dressing, addressing more than just one person in my battle versus Ace High. There will be a couple people, probably a whole city and a whole league and a whole owner of that league mentioned. But I'm not trying to give you away anything, so... Anyway, so yeah, also Mr. Dave is going up there. Yeah. Fal Kilmer, Cam Therese, Jack the, uh, Mick. Jack the Mick. Monster. Monster. Monster's coming. Monster on the road is fucking fun. Yeah. <laughs> Monster yeah. on the road is, is a lot of fun. That they they, they definitely know how to take a bad situation and make you laugh the whole time. Oh, dude, Monster. Yeah, for real. And, and Buki's like a fucking little undercover fucking funny-ass motherfucker. Like, Buki's all serious all the time and shit. Like, for real. Like, you see him at the battles, he's all serious. Let that motherfucker get out of the fucking zip code. Or, sorry, area code. Buki is the funniest motherfucker you will 
ever seen. Jumping around, around <laughs> singing, beatboxing into a cup in Vegas oh, in, this, in this food man. court. Man, Ma- is Moss going up? Oh, yeah, Moss. Moss is up. great. Moss, dude, I, I, you, we need to find this fucking video and release. Moss, when we were in Las Vegas, went around in the, like, the local food court and shit, like right on the strip, and just started battling random people sitting down to eating. <laughs> <laughs> Moss walk up on this Chinese dude talking about, he's all, he's all, I see you're Chinese. You must be you are what you eat. <laughs> I am just, I'm sitting over there just shocked. Because you know he's really walking up to just random people and just rap. battle rapping them. I rap, <laughs> try to give them out the mixtape, and then if they don't want it, he starts battling them. Good four to six heavy bars too. And, and Bookie's <laughs> behind him beatboxing into right. a red yeah. cup. Right, <laughs> Bookie beatboxing into a red cup. Hilarious as a motherfucker. Oh, my why is there God. no footage of this? No, there, there is. is. Oh, where? There is it somewhere? Them, Moss yeah. just got it. Moss battled the mannequin. Well, what the fuck? Moss man? battled the mannequin Drop in Vegas. Buki, Buki did a poor impersonation of me, and Moss battled fucking a mannequin in a department store. Like, <laughs> we had so much fun in Vegas. We have a lot of fun on the road, man. We Whoa. go up there. We we take care of business, but we have a lot of fucking fun. Like. We do. We have a blast. So I'm excited to see what... That was only with, like... That was, what, six guys? Now we're taking, like, ten? No, there's eight of us there's, last Oh, there time. was? There were eight of us? Eight okay, of so us. now we're adding two of you motherfuckers? Yeah, and three. Uh, three. There's eleven going up. Oh, crazy. Yeah. This is going to be way too much. If I don't hard. come back... <laughs> <laughs> if I don't come back... Nah. Yeah, dude, that's going to be crazy. You know, it's going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. But then we got to come back down so we don't got too much time to dick around because the very next day we're going to be doing uh, the Dirtbag Dan concert series. Uh, we'll be doing a uh, voice box. We're going to start doing some concert series so that way we can get a little bit more involved with shows and getting people's music out there. So we're going to do voice box, uh, uh, the, the first concert series in uh, February 26th. February 26th. Dirt, Dirtbag Dan, K the I. Who else is on there? Grimey, he's sponsoring. Grimey Republic, yeah, Grimey Republic sponsoring is sponsoring the show, man. Um, Grime time, fucking fam and friend. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows will be there battling Battle, E-Rao. Battle that's E-Rao. gonna be crazy. Yes. Everybody I, knows the E-Rao. James Berry be. from Grim Image is in the building. Yeah, Nabahi, um, it, uh, Ek and Nabahi, uh, James Berry together are Los Fail Faces. Mm-hmm. Uh, KDI is on Grim Image and Fake Four. Big ups to Kiki. Um, check out Synesthesia. This album, seriously, if you guys are real into crazy production. K the I, Synesthesia, on Fake 4. Real good stuff. Um, And he'll be here live. He'll probably be doing, like, a, uh, uh, mostly a live instrumental set, and then he'll rap, too. And it's real dope, because he uses the, have you, are you familiar with the Novation Launchpad? Is it, like, the Chaos Lyric It's, like, a, nah, it's way bigger, and it has, like, I don't know, it has, like, 64 buttons, and it, I don't know, it's crazy. You can, it's dope. All, his set's dope. Cool. So I'm excited to see um, that. And then everybody knows is if you guys saw his battle with uh, Uno Lavos, <laughs> that was definitely one. I of said the, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the homies' best battles. He's a dope. He's a really good battler. Uh, he just I don't know. Sometimes he just doesn't come through all the time. But like, real good off the dome. Like, and I think putting him versus E Rao is gonna be a. a Interesting oh, yeah. matchup, so I'm looking forward to yeah. that. I'm excited to have E Rao back in the ring, man. E Rao yeah, is one too. of my, E Rao's one of my favorite dudes in Voice Box. Real man. intense. We have a, yeah, we have a, we have a very similar style. Uh, me and E Rao, we've talked about it. Like I, I really like that dude, so I'm happy to uh, see him come back, mm-hmm. especially in such a uh, higher profile battle. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah E-Rao's definitely. definitely got he deserves bring bars, it. Man. I think he, yeah, he, he's, sure. he's got some heart. He's he'll he'll do it up for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. And, of course, James Berry will throw down a dope set as well. We'll have a few other battles that show, too. Yeah. Uh, anything that we can announce, that would be uh, Danger James versus Antronormous. You know, mm-hmm. David versus Goliath, little oh, small wow. guy, very, very tall guy. Wow. It uh, should be aesthetically a mind fuck. But. We got, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be crazy. And then we got uh, Diverse versus nice. Wisdom, the number mm-hmm. eight versus the number 15. So uh, possibly some moving in the power rankings. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, what else? There's all kinds of crazy shit. That show's gonna be dope. We're gonna have three battles, uh, four performances. Natives are restless. Are playing, Abius's group. So uh, that'll definitely be dope. Mm-hmm. Dope. And dope. Dirtbag Dan, man, it's a uh, Dirtbag Dan's gonna be hosting, and uh, 
and judging, and he'll definitely be judging and hosting a uh, majority of those battles as well. So he's also going to be doing a uh, freestyle cypher session and uh, fucking, uh, I believe, some video blogs as well. Um, and actually, I don't know if the cypher is going to be freestyle or not. It might be written. I have no idea what it's going to be. But we'll be doing a video cypher uh, when he's in town that day. So uh, MC, start thinking about that if you really want to get in and uh, get on camera with Dan and do a little freestyle cypher session. There won't be a, we're not going to pick a lot, but... We definitely will pick some of you guys because you guys have busted your ass for the fucking past year helping us. So mm -hmm. hell yeah, time to give you guys some exposure and shit. That's yep. like fucking hundred and seven thousand views wasn't enough. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> That's the goal. All right. Uh, oh, one, one more thing. Since we're talking about the the views, big ups to uh, Tim Wamble Lewis Jr. Definitely. Couldn't do any of this without you. So I don't know if you're on here. Or yeah. If someone tell him the message, you know, like big ups. He, to he owns Lewis Voice Jr. Box with us. He's a huge part of voice box it couldn't be done without him too you know it's this is a team effort everyone's in it for everybody so big ups yeah. to him and he's uh he told us three hundred thousand by next year so that's the next goal that's the next three hundred thousand by next year so we'll start spreading the word uh you know and the uh, good way we're gonna start doing i think that. it'll be more than that what's that more, it's more than three hundred thousand well, you're already at a, you're already over a hundred well, i mean the, but once we i mean i think i think april I think I think we really hit big after April. We got a lot of huge things going yeah. on then, but we'll get to it. And, and then you'll be into the summer, and it'll just be. Yeah, um, it, I think if we keep you'll, you'll pattern, meet your goal. That's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. No, I, I'm, 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 I think we will. It's gonna happen. I That's what's up. Because um, everybody is like, it's like, some people don't understand that when you, if you're if you look at it from the outside, like Voice Box is a family, and people yeah. don't understand like is 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 even though like. Like, there's certain cats that I don't really know, but I'm like, yeah, I know who that is. You know what I mean? Like, Shit, we're he's a part family of Voice for Box, show, like, man. Like, big I'll fucking check out family. Yeah, we're a huge yeah, family, and like we're protective of each other. Yeah, uh, we had, we had to, we had to, <laughs> We had to fucking just go to fucking war for our fucking favorite sexist stepbrother over here and shit. Woo! And this and guy, Grimey's so offensive. I know offensive. Yeah. Apparently, Did I don't like don't it know. when you talk about that stuff, Grimy. I left out three major words, which is phenomenal. Cunt which is which, see, I would have gone cunt early. And I just often. I, and often <laughs> and fucking often. I you you were very. I thought you were very restrained. I mean, you guys go to it. www.youtube.com backslash voicebox battles. Noxy vs. Grimy L. Go check that shit out if you haven't already. Um, you guys over, let me know. Cracked over Here, a thousand. Here is one thing. Cracked over a thousand? <clears throat> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Controversy creates views. Good shit. Yeah, we need to get more. Then. Here's more. one thing that I, I that I don't know. I haven't mentioned it yet. Like, I haven't. I've been meaning to, to bring this up about that battle. That I don't think a lot of people realize. Noxy rode some of that shit in the car. Like that night. Really? She didn't so on no, dude. Like <laughs> that's why I'm so excited for for her to battle again and to battle a chick and not me, so that I can be left alone. Cause I didn't fucking you know what I mean? Like <laughs> anyway, like she I think that she could do some damage, you know what I'm saying? To have written some bars in the car. Like, I, I was. Agree. I wrote my shit and I was prepared. Like, I agree. Like, you she, know what I mean? She could. She can battle. She had a multi. I, she I, had a dope multi. She now. has potential. She really has. She really has potential. I would have loved to see what she would have done if all the stumbles and issues didn't happen. Um, I don't think she would have won. By any it means, it would have been way more like it wouldn't. Yeah, I don't. Think, I wouldn't have been in so much trouble. Well, yeah, no, and then that's part case. of the deal is because like people are all pissy because yeah. they you know they thought it was just a defenseless you know chick who who doesn't rap. But I mean, I don't know if they realize that these battles have, are are booked for over two months and they're all pre written. And I've like never you have, battled. And, and he's never battled either. Like it, it was just on some real butthurt shit. And um, I mean, that's that's what battle rap is. I mean, we we're rude fucking people, um, you know. We don't. Me and Chuck, we don't go <clears> running <throat> around forcing people at gunpoint to come battle for voice box. Uh, you know, everyone knows what they're stepping into. She did know? put me in a hell of a catch. -22, she did. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, big ups to Noxy though, dude. That big shit ups to Noxy. Fucking, real. I'm yeah, serious, like, dude. That chick has bigger balls than fucking half the dudes in our fucking league. 
And she didn't bite no one's lyrics. On some right? And yeah. didn't yeah. bite. Yeah. Right? And didn't bite no one's lyrics. Didn't have anyone write her shit for her. Like, I would know. You know, like, me and her. Yeah. Like, and we met, like, people don't know, like, we met before that battle and was like, all right, well, what's up, like, you know, because we've known each other. Like, we could go in That's on bullshit. Some shit. I just fucking feel like you know Santa I mean? Claus like, got ruined for knowing that. That y'all fucking met up and discussed the bars beforehand? Not the bars. Oh, okay. No, not the bars. Hell no. Oh, okay. Hell no. Ooh. But, like, content-wise, like, okay, where do we draw the line to oh, shit? You're like, that. Dude, I now wanna... Santa Claus is dead. What? Really? You know I want to be your friend. Not, like, in an intense, like, never mind. But then after, all right. Uh, are you serious? No, you lose me there. Like, <laughs> you just do. Like, I, I, it's. I understand people wanted to be friends afterwards. That's a whole I different. Get it. I get See, it. See, no one gets. No. No, one I get it. it. I get it. I get it. I don't sponsor it, but I get it. Like me and Foul are cool as fuck to this day. Me and him went the fuck in on each other online. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. And that's my dude. Like, I mean, here, like, my yeah. thing is. If you're coming to battle and you gotta pre-discuss your terms, your limits, your boundaries, like it, it just kind of takes it out for me. It like, just, on a personal level, like, it's still a great battle. It was still a great concept. You guys really, you still definitely pulled some hard ass punches. It's not like you fucking like really held back. But it's just like I when when I think battling, I think like I really want somebody to like I want that belief of there is genuine dislike and there is no boundaries. There's no depth to where you won't go. There would. Mm. See? Yeah. See? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the art of battle rapping right there. I how just, far will you go? How far will you go? Some, that's what I'm saying. That's why, that's why I'm so... <laughs> that's like the that, question. Like that Pat Stay Marvel in battle. I was... Oh, I was just all... Autism! Yeah, make fun Attacking of Attacking autism! What about people's, like... You know what I mean? Deceased family members. Yeah, okay. Right, people, but right, people right, die. Right, right, Not everybody right. has autism. That's yeah, super but, personal. But not everybody. But it's a battle. It's a battle. And that's why I say it's a battle. 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 But Do, don't don't come if you can't handle something you don't like. Don't battle. I, well, I know. What, I, know I, I know. I know another perfect him. fucking yeah, example of that. I'm just saying. I know another perfect example of that. That's why. <laughs> that's why we're not doing something on January 13th anymore. I'm just saying, some people shouldn't battle. Some people can't take this shit. Some people just aren't built for it. And, you know, I mean, that's just brutally honest. You know, I don't, I, I want everyone to get in the, you know, if everyone can handle it, I want everybody in Tucson to come out and battle. But if you're not mentally prepared for someone to just cut you off at the knees, the throat, the chest, it, the ankles, anything. and say anything, don't come. Like, it's just, like, I mean, that's, like, the biggest safety warning I can give people. Yeah, we won't screen bars. There's none of that. People will say whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. And, you know, just, like, you just can't do anything. You just got to deal with it. You're going into a lyrical contest. Mm -hmm. So, uh, best man wins, and personals are definitely a way to help achieve victory. And the best female could win. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, like, it has nothing to do with... Hip hop is a culture, not a color or a sex. Exactly. Not it has anymore. Nothing to do with. Not that. anymore, dude. I mean, for real. I I went out after like all this happened. I went out and I posted a bunch of female MC battles. You know what I mean? Some of the ones that I thought were just were, were dope. You know what I mean? And there are there are females that can go hard. And I get a, I get a lot of females that I know on on Facebook that that rap. And I'm like, I would love to just see more females battling because it's such a, it, it's. It's a rare thing to have a dope female. You know what I mean? And not even to be on the sexist front, but a lot of the leagues from out of town that, you know, Noxie's getting a lot of battles right now. You know what I mean? Not Noxie fucking tanked fucking 30 seconds into her first round and never recovered. But she's getting battles. It's just, it's, it's, it's... So it's, it's the people want to see that, <laughs> want to see that want to shit. See that. People want to see that shout shit. Shout out to Noxy. For real, shout yeah, out to Noxy. Be famous. I'm you telling get. you. I'm you telling get. you, shout out to H-Bomb. Shout out to fucking uh, Bab. Shout out to fucking Lady Luck. Shout out to fucking Young Gaddis. Shout out to all the fucking Sarah Connor. Oh, Blimey. That bitch is fucking bad. If you haven't checked out Oh, Blimey yet, that bitch is, is gold as fuck. Like for real, go check out, go check her out on YouTube, man. That chick can go. Um, I've been trying to get her down for a while, and I've been having a lot of people. Actually, someone today asked me, 
uh, about getting uh, old Blimey down here, and I would love to do it. I would absolutely love to do it, but I really want to get that one female here first. You know what I mean? Like I want, like just like I mean, we might have her. We might, we might, we we don't know. There uh, there might be a female somewhere right now, just on the guest that just tuning in on from a cell phone or whatever, that is really on some. Uh, like I'm thinking about battling, I would suggest do it because it's gonna take you places. Like, like you're really gonna be able to get out there, and if you use it right, if you're really trying to make music, you can really use it to your advantage to get your music out there as well. That's a good point. Because mm-hmm. none of my, my, my like, my, yeah, you're pretty much writing a song. Like, not it's not the same style, but you're writing two two to three minutes worth of stuff. Show yeah. off your lyrical skills, and then you get some music promo. You get your name out there in front of a crowd. They'll be like, "Oh, I like what this." That guy goes does. for dudes music, too. You know? Like that goes for dudes too, for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, there, there's a lot of guys that they're talking about. Oh, I don't battle. I don't battle. Why? Do you write songs? If you write songs, then it's you, entirely different. Though. It, it is. <laughs> it, it, no, it just because of that mental mindset of what can you handle being said to you. Mm-hmm. Well, I think stage presence nah, has a lot to do with like, it too. Your delivery. And, you know, like, the way you approach yourself. Some people just aren't naturally aggressive. Like, you know, you wouldn't think Danger James to be all in someone's face going, yeah! But, but that's the best like, part. Right. That's he's, the best part. Bad. Danger James, look. He's a feisty. I love, <laughs> I love Danger James. I like, do, I, too. Like, I do I do now. That, that dude has fucking, a, that dude has a lot of spunk. Like, for Absolutely. real. On some, on some real shit. Like, I see him and I know him. And like I, like I see him battle, and it's just like a whole different cat. Like I, I just didn't know he had he was like eight feet all tall that in there. No, that's exactly you, what I said. And that's why I really am excited to see him versus uh, Antronormus because Antronormus is a big guy that battles even bigger. That guy he's really loud. battles. He's, he's just loud. loud. He's not. <laughs> but, but no, no. But, but don't get me wrong. No, he has no. some bars and shit. He's he's decent. I'm not I'm not hating on Antronormus, no, but he's just loud. I don't think that he's. But if you, I my thing that, is, if you watch him and the way he, the way he uses his space mm-hmm. to kind of really kind of get over the top of somebody true. and then be loud. That's true. He, he battles bigger than his real size, and right, that that right. can okay. that can really put a lot of pressure on smaller guys. You know, like Danger. Right. You know what I mean? Because he sees this big guy just coming down and screaming on him. Always focus on this big guy screaming on him. You know, but now but Danger being the smaller guy. And being so aggressive in a battle, he could really almost turn that whole mi- mouse to the mm-hmm. elephant and really do some damage against uh, and, uh, against a maybe less experienced Antronormus. So That's I'm really true. F- looking yeah. forward to seeing that. That's yeah, I'm excited for that. Hell yeah, him and him and Jack the Mick did a good tag battle. That, that was, was dope. sick. They that did was really dope. good. Yeah, that was really good. MC did really good too. MC Ox, I know Ox. If you're watching, damn it. I know you got a battle March sixteenth. Ox, start writing. Yep, yep, and write and some practicing, shit. practicing, and writing. And just Come on, man. Gain don't confidence. Do like if you're if you're ready, yeah. Don't be do open. You gotta. I don't know. I'm not. I'm by no means a battle vet. I have one battle under my belt, but I've watched plenty. And, and that's another if, thing. Like watch these battles. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if you're thinking about battling or or you're just starting out battling. Like, go to the Grind Time sites, go to King of the Dock, go to Don't Flop, watch the battles. I mean, it's, it's definitely one of those sports, just like any other, where you can learn a lot from watching people that have been doing it for a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, learn your different styles, learn your different patterns and shit. And if, you, and if you're interested in battling here in Tucson, watch New Blood. And yes. I mean, because that's the... That's where you're gonna. If you haven't battled before, if you have like experience that you can that you can prove, you can probably hop in. The t- yeah, you know well, yeah I mean? if you, if you come in with some notoriety, we'll we'll put you on against you know some against somebody from our top in roster. the power rankings. Right, but but if, if you if, don't, if you've never battled before, yeah. hop in New Blood. Like that's what I did. Like, Hit up E. Rao, man. Like, yeah, that dude, yeah. You know, Big ups to E. Rao. That's right been there. one of the best that was fucking a great hires. Choice. That yeah. was great, yeah. man. That was a good He's call. a hustler for sure. For I sure. Love it. That guy put together a fucking like eleven battle card of of New Blood guys in like a week. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he he really awesome. Plus, he has out. some great sponsor ideas and things mm-hmm. like that. So, big shouts out to Irao, mm-hmm. man. We're excited to uh, be working with mm-hmm. you, man. And the way he put together the card, it wasn't. It was just what he feels is going to be, uh, you know, great matchups. Like, 
it's not so much based on styles or well it may be but like he, he's like i'm just putting together good match you know yeah. he's confident yeah. in there's what, great match and i trust him. you know his his judgment so real quick i gotta say big ups to slim swayze in toronto thanks for tuning in homie um everybody had to take the red pill.com or oh, excuse shit, me man. take the red pill radio.com <laughs> <laughs> shit um <laughs> Yeah, I will. Um, I have a uh, an interview on that on that station from from last year on on YouTube, and then also I'll have another one coming up at some point. So, but he has a lot of dope supporters that do handfuls of shows. He does several showings, uh, playing all independent music basically, and and just showing a lot of support, kind of like we do here at Grimy Republic. So. Big ups to Slim, and uh, real quick, I want to hop into some music, just because I promised that I would play some of this Walt Frey's cat. He's from Philly, and I've been digging this. Uh, the homie Vibe Leviathan put me onto this cat. And uh, Yo, if you all take this time during this track, man, while y'all are bumping this cool shit, um, if you guys have any questions, man, fucking put them in the chat box. I'd love, you know, I definitely, if you guys have any questions about voice box... You know, Arizona hip hop, uh, anything like that, man. Put Absolutely. the question in the chat box now. We'll check them out and we'll answer a few of them or all of them, depending on how few of you fuckers comment. Absolutely. Um, so right. yeah, uh, hit it up, man. If you guys have any questions, but yeah, let's oh, bump, yeah. The, let's bump this good shit. That's a, um, yeah, it's always more fun when you guys. You know, I try to keep up with the chat. It's pretty hard when there's you know, like ten people. Bullshit. the chat all night. All right. <laughs> so, all right. This is uh, Walt Frey's tranquilizer. You know what I'm saying? You want the corners and shit, you know? It's got to be on some hands down shit, you know what I mean? Keep your eyes and ears open at all times while we rhyme and shine. For all my Delaware niggas that love this shit. Doing this like this, word up. What's the phenomenon? Carry on, Don Tranquilizer. Buck them down, D life don't fuck around. Swinging through and our board slamming them thunders down. On the handrails, turn them black. Fuck CDs, tapes, MP3s, we burning wax. I'm from DE, you never heard of that. You never heard of them 49ers, I heard of sap. I'm Walt Fraze, skinny motherfucker that's half crazed. Smokes hash, haze, and murders raps. In the streets where I poly with the prostitutes. I lie to loot, my lifestyle they don't constitute. Fuck the government, police, and all that other shit. Futuristic drive a car that I can hover with. Stuff the easy water, cheaper than I passed them. Hand to hand combat with Jesus, and I trashed them. Sucker, punk motherfucker, walk phrase, psychedelic king, and I'm a gutter. I'm boom bap, I'm punk rock, I'm jazz baby. Cobain, Coltrane, slash shady. I'm Wu Tang, I'm boot camp, I'm Wolf Gang. Used to hang with old heads that cook cane. Now I'm wild in the streets with my skate posse. You hate probably, cause you can't relate, Aki. Anyone who said my reign will expire, use a liar. Like Jeremiah gaming on the flyer. Fucking with diamond life, you must acquire Some military issue type shit that shoots fire Even then you're no match for the water style Combinations concentrating on your organelles We're more than foul, we're downright disgusting Baco, loco, all the Spanish niggas love them I make a meal and still wouldn't be happy, yo Still see them at the outlets, racking low Word life Diamond life Yo some powder, rest in peace. Show, fuck the motifs Sit on hills, write rhymes I read and dream Then float away in a cloud of sativa steam You can't wipe a wildflower I don't need a queen They get sexed out and sweat out their mebeline Reside in the skies See me on the kite Way above the clouds You see me on a flight A fucking 
botanist Plant biologist Inside the easy waters Where the power and the knowledge is I follow hits With Palmasan bottle hits Then play a game with your dame Called Swallow This It sounds fun until you come down I grab bricks Like be a man Craig And put the gun down Chain smoke joints Like cigarettes to no effect Then walk around drunk in public Like no effects Just to crack a smile And maybe laugh a while Riding high and I crashed After half a mile I need to stop but fuck it, I love drugs Psychedelic street drugs and club drugs They're all amazing, different ones for all occasions Friends and family wanna help, they try to call and save them I'm in my own world, feeling like I'm not there At somebody's party, trying to remember how I got there I'm Walt Frey's the cloud lurker Jump off stage, the crowd surfer Keeping it real, packing still, getting high Cause life is a bitch and then you die Now I'm coming down off the high. I cough inside, snatching the cloud off the sky. People walking by, looking at me like I'm crazy. I must be, cause this isn't the way my mother raised me. Someone saved me before I take it too far. I ain't finished school, they said I wouldn't make it too far. Mistaken, you are. You see this haze in this jar, I'll hit this and be on the next spaceship to Mars They don't like my rap style and they say it's bizarre I'm saying it's hard like when Hendrix used to play the guitar All the rappers that the radio is playing are garb Hitting their wives, raid their house, taking their cars Driving down to the rich side of town where big houses Come fully furnished with furnace and big couches Hump the horn at all the pretty women, blonde hair To the cops pull me over and tell me I don't belong there I'm Walt Frey's the cloud lurker Jump off stage, the crowd surfer Keeping it real, packing, still getting high Cause life is a bitch and then you die Face it with the mega space laser. Pew, pew, pew. Disintegrate your face through a quasar. 